Welcome back to Danganronpa. When we last left off, we were just about to go into free time. But before that, let's take a little bit of a break and talk for a bit. Let me first look around the room. Just wondering if any of the text actually changed. Yeah, maybe I should write down what Saka told me earlier. O okay. Maybe I should write it down. Doesn't write it down. Okay, is that what's happening? <laughs> Alright. Constantly being watched on cameras. Stress. The sword. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. Somebody is gonna come in and touch this thing. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. So mostly everything should be the same, right? I mean, not like anyone came into our room and touched it, right? <laughs> Yeah, there's a random lint roller here. <laughs> Maybe it'll help us kill some people. <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming that Makoto is not actually going to be doing any killing, right? I I'm assuming, <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, well, let's take a little bit of a pause here. And look at everybody. So, as you already know, we have been playing for about two and a half hours now, and I really haven't commented too much on everybody. So I think I'm gonna try to pinpoint who I should pay attention to more right now. So we have us, Makoto. Really naive little boy. <laughs> That's the impression I get. Kiyotaka. Taka. He seems to be... He's the ultimate... What is it again? Ultimate moral compass. Which on paper sounds really good. It sounds like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm not gonna kill anybody or hurt anybody. Everybody has to be doing the right thing 24-7, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like this kind of person, someone who has a really black and white view on things. Oh, I don't even know much about him. I just assume that's what he's like. He can probably find some way to justify doing bad things. So I wouldn't rule him out for being a killer. But so far, I don't feel too suspicious of him. So that's good. Byakuya. Ultimate affluent progeny. Still no idea what that means. This guy is... Hmm, I don't know. He seems really, like, uncooperative all the time. Like, you know how we have Kyoko? She's kind of antisocial too, but not really uncooperative. She's still trying to help everybody, if we can. But Byakuya is just kind of sitting on the side doing nothing. So, a little bit curious about him. Mondo? Hmm... I can see this guy probably killing somebody, but that's pretty stereotypical, right? Some strong-looking mafia dude. So, who knows? He might end up being killed instead. Leon. Baseball star. Uh, yeah, I can totally see this guy killing too. Because he, he has a dream. He needs to fulfill it. Remember that. I mean, he doesn't exactly look like the model student. <laughs> but then again, this is all based off stereotyping, so... Hifumi. We do not know much about him at all. I'd like to say that he won't kill. And actually, he kind of looks like the type that dies early on. But uh, not many thoughts about him at all because we haven't talked to him outside of the required conversation so far. I don't know where he is. Is he just hiding in his room? Should I knock on his door next time? Yasuhiro. Chill, older dude. It's really hard right now because even though we've been at this for about two and a half hours, we really don't know much about a lot of these people. Really, the only person we know well is Makoto, and not even Sayaka, I would say. <laughs> Hiro, though, doesn't really give me the impression that he would kill. Hey, I never really thought about it, but the ultimate abilities might come into play later, right? Like, I don't know, can... if someone dies, can Hiro talk to them? <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, Sayaka, 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 Sayaka. Ultimate pop sensation. I don't know how to feel about you. You seem like such a sweet girl on the outside, but it doesn't feel natural at all. Remember the whole episode she just had in front of us? I mean, that alone shows that she's someone who can switch between emotions quickly, possibly to her own advantage, right? Because she's been in the industry for a while now, so she knows how to, how to work it. Very, very cautious of Sayaka, I am. <laughs> Kyoko. Okay, of all the people, I am like 95% sure 
sure that Kyoko won't be a killer. If she is, I'm gonna have trust issues. Like I mentioned earlier, even though she seems pretty antisocial and not willing to cooperate with other people, she still got shit done for the well-being of the group. She's cold, but I can still feel that she's squarely on the good side. So I have good feelings about her and it's mysterious too. We don't know what kind of ultimate she is still because she won't tell us. But yeah, I feel really good about her, and if she turns out to be a killer, I am gonna have trust issues forever. Owie. Man, we just really don't know enough about most of these people. I don't have any thoughts on her at all, really. She just seems like some sort of bubbly girl that we don't know much about. Toko. Out of the bunch, Toko kind of sticks out like a sore thumb for me. I don't know, something about her just feels a little bit... I think I would really like to talk to her later, if we can. I have no basis for my saying this, but I feel like people who live in their head a lot, or often, or 90% <laughs> of the time like Toko does, they might have a lot of thoughts that are useful if we actually get her to open up and talk about it. I don't know. Yeah? Maybe? No? Hmm. Sakura. Holy shit, look at the chest... chest... what do you call that? Chest with? Ultimate martial artist. Yeah, definitely an intimidating type that you would think would be a killer. But I feel like that would play on the stereotype too much, and I would not be surprised if Sakura got killed later. Really, we don't know much about these people. Celeste. Hmm. Celeste is interesting because I feel like her and Kyoko are like different sides of the same coin. Does that make sense? They're both kind of, um, standoffish. But Kyoko is willing to help. But Celeste, even though she made that suggestion of having everyone stay in their rooms past nighttime, I feel like she's really someone that could flip on their group any moment. And the only reason she hasn't done so is because it's not in her advantage to. <laughs> so, someone who follows the tide, I feel like. Maybe even like a chaotic neutral. Hmm. Junko. Hell yeah, I like Junko. I like her sass. Especially when you have Sayaka. Don't get me wrong, Sayaka's very sweet, but when you hear stuff like Nagikun for like the 10th time, it starts to be a little bit too much. So I really enjoy Junko's uh, pissed offness, her sassiness. Kind of balances the playing board a little bit. I really like her. Yeah, I would like to talk to her later too. Chihiro? Huh. I really can't see Chihiro killing anyone at all. She seems so frail and. Weak, but, but, that voice, I'm still wary about that. And that profession, programmer, not that I'm saying females cannot be programmers, but traditionally though, that's a very male-dominated industry, right? Anything IT related. So it makes me a little bit curious. And if later on she starts killing people, I'm really gonna lose faith in everybody. <laughs> okay, well, I guess to sum it all up, who do I think is suspicious right now? I really think there's only one person that's really, really suspicious beyond everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Let's go, let's go spend some time with our lovely assistant and we'll find out if she is truly suspicious or not. Okay, we're in free time right now and the game told us to go talk to Saika, so I will. I guess I should press the doorbell. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk to Saika for a while? Fine, fine. Hello. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Saika. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? Shh. Okay. Um, Sayaka. Sayaka is a pop idol. I know some of our- Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a little bit too early for that. <laughs> I don't think the- Well, I hope. The type of item? Does it actually matter? I mean, the last time I checked, I didn't really see any K 
characteristics on the items aside from like a little description. Like if I had a microphone or something, I'd give it to you, but... Aw, oh, this is such a shitty gift, but I think I'll give you the... <laughs> I think I'll give you the cup noodle! See, oh, maybe I'll give her... What is this? Tips and tips? Sure. Since you're so anxious and paranoid, right? You can have this. Huh? A present for me? Thank you. I'll cherish this forever. Does that mean she liked it? Um, Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What the hell are we doing? <laughs> what the hell are we doing up until now? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're here with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. R really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. H how often were you looking at me to know that I never looked at you? It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because I looked at you all the time. <laughs> How do I say this with a straight face? Huh? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You... wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But... why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high, the huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... <sighs> How would I know? Can we just make it the rarest thing possible? It was a heron, wasn't it? N no, not quite. It was similar, but even bigger than that. A crane. Like a heron, but bigger? That'd have to be... A crane! It just walked right into the pond! That's right! That's what it was! It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. She's in love with me. I should have said thank you then, but... Is it okay if I do it now? Thank me? What? I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't read this. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah. If we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that would make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still. 
I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of her makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you just unlocked the skill, Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Oh, that's the only free time we get for today. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Nighttime, so nobody should be going outside. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. We've read this already before, so maybe I'll just go forward. Today has already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear! As my eyelids begin to slide closed, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Well, if you put it like that, you're not gonna feel anything for anybody in this school because you're the only one without any skills. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt, I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. No murders, please. What is this? Ahem! So, I'm sure you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter! It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape! Boo boo boo! So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! Are you just telling me it's 7 a.m.? Because I don't need that shit. Thank you. Morning has come. What should I do today? Oh, free time. I mean, nothing should have changed overnight, so I really shouldn't be checking everything again. Yeah. Hey, is that in a different position? No, I'm freaking myself out. Okay, let's go for free time. Saya, no, uh, let's go talk to somebody else. <laughs> mm. Is anyone just standing around or... Oh, hello. Sakura. Are you... Uh, uh, Leon. Uh, how do we see where everybody is again? Map. Oh, you know my first instinct is still go to talk to Sayaka, but we should really be getting to know some of the other people. In a game like this, you would want to make the most friends, right? Oh, Toko is here. Mm, we don't really know much about her. Hey, I can give her that pen. 
The fountain pen. Yeah, let's go talk to Toko. Oh shit, I'm like turning like five five loops around. Oh hey! Hey! Hey, you stay here, okay? I'll talk to you in a second. Uh Toko. Since we don't know how much free time we have, we have to prioritize who we want to talk to first. Did you come here to yell at me? My whole life is one unpleasant experience after another. Hmm, should I hang out with Toko while she's acting like this? Yeah... Cheer her up. I, I was perfectly happy spending time by myself. But I guess if you're so d d desperate for attention, I can hang out for a little bit. I spent some time with a cold and distant Toko. Toko and I grew a little closer today. Yes, I will give you that pen I found. Not found. One. God, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. It's so slow. You are a writer. Oh god, I hope I'm remembering this right. I, I didn't actually check if you were the writer or not, but I think you are. Ultimate fanfic creator, right? Shit. I think so, yeah. But, oh, Hifumi. What was Hifumi then? Whatever. You can have it. Once belonged to a late, great novelist. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm already engaged to Master. What the fuck is that? So I can't go on a date with you. If you're okay with that, I don't mind if you think about me. Seeing Toko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. She's just standing there. Does she want something? But she's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Uh, um, Toko? <laughs> what? You want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you to talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know. We're trapped here together, right? If we're gonna be friends, it'll be nice to get to know each other. Huh? huh? What did you just say? Um... After that part about being trapped, we're gonna be- what? Uh, friends? <laughs> what do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me. I get it, I get it. Toko must have had a bad high school or middle school experience where people were saying, Hey, let's be friends, but they were lying to her, and then after she trusted them, they're like, oh, you stupid little girl, you actually think that people would want to be your friend? Oh, you're so ugly and stupid, blah, 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 blah. And now, Toko doesn't trust people anymore. I I've already been hurt once before. I I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? <laughs> Come on, you don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me, even I know that. No, that's not true. Fine, Th tell me. Tell you what? Do you know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure, you've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. <laughs> then tell me what I'm good at. D tell me what my genre specialty is. I if you really want to convince me you give a crap, you should at least know that. Ah. Uh... I don't suppose I can check the transcript now. No, I can't. <laughs> that was so long ago. Did she ever... Shit. <laughs> I don't think it's non-fiction. I... I am gonna go with romance. It's romance, of course. <gasps> Do you actually knew? Your biggest success was Soul Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of all the hottest men poles, right? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, how did you know all that? There's no way you care about me. 
I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Uh, I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. <laughs> Toko ran off, screaming like a banshee. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Vocabulary. Oh, come on. Was that all the free time we get? No, Sayaka, I didn't talk to you yet. <laughs> Shit. There's still lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. So this isn't free time anymore, right? Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, no, I want to look at the report card. Just to see what kind of new data has come out. Sayaka? The thing I remember about Makoto most from junior high was that crane thing. Melodious voice. So, I'm a little bit torn right now. Obviously, if we go talk to everybody, we can be a, like a little bit of friends with everybody. But... Then I won't be really, really friends with one person, right? So, I'm, I'm a little bit torn. But I think in the beginning, I at least want to have a few decent friends. And then the other few, I'll just write them off or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's go with that for now. So where's Toko? Ultimate writing prodigy. Romance is my area of expertise. I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know if getting it wrong actually would mean anything. Because earlier we got that crane thing wrong. I don't- we didn't have knowledge for that one though, right? The crane thing? So I'm not sure if we're allowed to get things wrong or not. Let's see the map. Sayaka and Sakura are here. Ifumi. Huh. Interesting, why are they together? Kiyotaka, I wanna talk to him. Oh, I wanna talk to Junko, I like her. Oh, I wanna talk to Kyoko too. God, I wanna talk to everybody. Boys' bathroom. That's that's weird. Let's go talk to Junko in the laundry, and then if we have time, maybe we can talk to Sayaka again. Sayaka, wait for me. We should probably make some male friends too, huh? Don't just be talking to the girls all the time. <laughs> right. Should I be looking and trying to get coins again? No, I'm not getting any more coins. Yeah, I don't think we're getting anything. Hey, did you see that magazine of you? Konnichiwa. Hey, Makoto, slacking off again, huh? Hmm, should I hang out with Junko for a while? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bored too. Let's chill for a while. I like her. I spent some time with Junko. Junko and I grew a little closer today. Oh, uh, I forgot about this part. Sure. Junko? <laughs> Do you want some cup noodles? I don't know what you like. You're a fashion model, right? Do you want the love? The love status ring? I don't think this actually has like, you know, any sort of meaning, so it's fine. I'll give it to her. Wah! Damn, Makoto, you got some pretty good taste! Does that mean she liked it? Mmm. I think if we give them items that are like, whatever, Makoto will think, does she really like it? And then for- But then earlier for Toko, I gave her the pen and she really, really liked it, so the game made sure to let me know. So for Sayaka and Junko, I just gave them random crap so far. That's what I think. Listen, I just want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? <laughs> Wait, you mean... No, I'm not expecting anything like that! I figured, you're not that kind of guy, right? Looking at you, I get a total Omega... 
Omega male vibe. But still, they say even the tamest guy can turn into a wild animal. So I figured I'd say it anyway. A wild animal? Don't ask me why, but I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because she's so, um, flashy. They call me up super late at night all like, Hey, let's hang. Like, I don't know what that means. Let's hang. It sounds so simple. But why super late at night? And why is Junko's... What? But why super late at night? And why is Junko seem annoyed at it? Hanger, hangout, hang glide. What the hell? What? I don't even understand why I'm... <laughs> hang out? Oh, you just meant hanging out. Huh? Did you just come to a decision or something? Oh, uh, no, forget it. Anyway, so we all get together, but the whole group's full of dumbasses. Keeping creepos like that away is a full-time job, you know. Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so you must be really popular. Similar thing going on with uh, Sayaka. One is an idol, one is a model. Wow, Makoto, you actually get it. You do get it, right? You totally get me! I do? Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometime. So, what's your type? You're super passive, right? So you need an aggressive girl. Yeah, I think that'd be good for you! Someone who will go after you and not give up. N no, I, I don't really... I'll find the perfect girl for you as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> Hope you're as excited as I am! Junko seemed really excited as she walked away. I don't really get it, but I guess she likes hanging out with me? Junko's report card! Ooh, your maximum number of skill points has increased. I don't know what that means. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Hey, please tell me I have more time. Oh, I didn't get to talk to Sayaka. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Thank you. Bye. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I... No, we. When are we going to get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up! If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret! What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course! That's why Formula One drivers are so popular! Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. <laughs> what I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, 0 0.0002 .0 seconds later. So we didn't really find out anything new as a group on the third day. I got it, I got it. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ugh, another day of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Like, please tell me we have some sort of a... No! What the heck? The door doesn't have like a... Oh, what do you call that thing? Like an eye? To see outside? Uh-oh. I don't really want to open the door. If I don't know who it is. 
Let me just check this door again. No, it's always the same thing. Okay, fine. Yeah. A fantastic morning, isn't it? D Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Um, uh, Who let you in, man? What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. That's how you can overcome any storm. Okay. I was thinking about it last night. And I decided we all really need to come together. And that was when I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. Hmm, so things are actually a lot more civil right now than I expected it to be. I expected someone to die on the first night, but we're like four days in and still doing great. Taka's idea is actually not bad at all. In addition to bonding, you get to know that everyone is still on the same page about... Hey, hey. About, um, about not killing each other. <laughs> Makoto, can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Huh? <laughs> My mascara's totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka came and woke me up. What a dick. You look just the same as yesterday to me. <laughs> as if it's like night and day. S sorry. I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll go and see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been in prison here, and that's what she's worried about right now? Ah, you gotta worry about some of these little things, okay? Can't just be... Hey, I haven't seen Hifumi all this whole time. Are you doing okay, man? Hmm... Okay, so we can quickly check with the map where everybody is, right? Toko and Leon. Everyone should be meeting at the dining hall. Mm, yeah, everyone's there. Okay, cool. Just in case. Fine. Uh, I'm so freaking tired. The hell's wrong with that guy? Did he wake you up too? Yeah, he sure did. I guess he's going around waking up everyone. Oh, it's seriously annoying. I'm going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room. I don't think that'll do any good. I'm sure he'll just come bug you again. Yeah, probably. Damn it. Guess we better just go then. And that's that. Hey, Toko. How you feeling, girl? Um, Toko? What? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I, I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> I'm so nervous. What's she so nervous about? I is there something that I should know about that I don't know about? What was that master thing she mentioned before? 